Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be, I think it's from the 7th to the 13th of February 2022. So let's see what we have for you for the week Libra. I'm using purely the tarot card this week and we will clarify or finish up the reading with an oracle card. Okay, what do we have for our lovely Librans, please? Overarching energy. We have the Nine of Wands. Challenge is Temperance. Knight of Cups is the advice from Spirit. Five of Cups in the immediate future. We have the Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands with the Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. No, Queen of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Male or female energy, or can be the energy of the card, could even be your energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. I feel Libra, something's gone on. I mean, generally the cups energy is to do with emotions, feelings, heart energy, so it can be to do with somebody who you're connected to in that way. The Nine of Wands is, it feels you have history with whoever this person is. Just when you thought everything was fine, something's coming up. Another hurdle another loop to jump through, another hurdle to jump over, and you're tired, you're tired of this happening. So it suggests that whatever this is, and it will, might be different for each of you, it's happened before. The Ten of Wands is, is releasing a weight, releasing a burden, uh, because this is an energy of, I don't want to carry this burden, this weight anymore. Whatever has happened here, that has made you guarded, defensive, tired, fed up, wanting to throw in the towel. There's an energy here, Libra, for some of you in your challenge position of how do I, how do I release this weight? How do I release this burden? What choices, decisions do I make to resolve this? Because I can't do this anymore. I cannot carry this burden that is too heavy to carry anymore. It's one of those situations where you want to make choices and decisions that are going to bring change, you know. Um, for some of you, it might well be that somebody is regretting their actions and they're wanting to reconcile here, meet in the middle, bring balance back to a situation. But I feel these are the energies here where the challenge is something has to change and you coming to that truth in terms of how you truly move forward how, what you truly want and what you truly don't want in order to bring resolution and find your flow and that is the challenge because we do have I certainly see an, an offer of love an apology waving the white flag, you know, whatever this Knight of Cups is, this Knight of Cups I feel is the other person with you, again these can be vice versa, certainly in terms of matters of the heart, but I always read for you. So this is an energy of somebody coming to you who is offering you love, who is opening their heart. By doing that they're hoping to bring positive change and positive direction to this situation here. So Spirit is saying that you are going to be offered, somebody is going to offer you an apology, somebody is going to offer you love again. And Spirit is helping you come to the right conclusion, the right decision in terms of how you truly move forward. Because Spirit is saying there's also a reason why you are being defensive. Again, the Seven of Wands is this energy of defensive and truly understanding that and making decisions and, co and, and 
clarifying how you want to move forward by being in your truth. Because somebody's offering love, but this is an energy of, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm defensive. I'm guarded. I, I feel this is an energy of, of you standing in your truth, defending what you know to be right and true. And there's a kind of feeling of either something changes, somebody's behavior changes or needs to change, or there's some significant decision coming up in the near future. So we have the Five of Cups. You know, it is the card of, of lost regret, looking back. I have this with the Queen of Cups, which I'm feeling like is, it feels like your energy. I mean, it could be the other person's here, but I'm feeling it's your energy here, Libra, because clearly there's love here. This is somebody who, self-love first and foremost, the Queen of Cups, and she is heart energy. She's Queen of Hearts, you know? So there's certainly an energy here of, of she understands and maybe gets greater understanding by going within and listening to your intuition and listening to your heart in terms of how you do make a choice or a decision. Because there's certainly an energy here of there's a choice to be made, but I don't want to regret this. Now, yeah, this could be the other person regretting their actions. I feel there is regret all over this. Um, but I feel that this is, I feel this is more you making a choice, decision, which way do I go? And knowing I, I don't want to, I don't want to make the wrong choice. I'm not happy with this situation, but I, I don't want to make the wrong choice. So let's get some advice from Spirit here. Final message for Libra, please. Final message for Libra. Any advice? So spirit is going to help bring illumination to make everything better, you know? The sun is a card of, it's the most positive card in the tarot deck because it's pure divine energy, shining the light, shining, lighting the path. This is a card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness, healing. It's a very healing and nurturing energy as well. But it is an energy of successful success. And it's an energy of, you will get the illumination when you need it to make the right decision that will help put a difficult situation behind you and you step into the light. I mean, that is the energy that spirit is telling you. So when the sun comes out, you're kind of being told everything is going to be okay. I feel in this energy spirit is giving you some kind of illumination here in the not too distant future on how to bring a happy, healthy resolution to a situation. Let's get one more. Yeah, five of wands, an ongoing conflict, ongoing argument, ongoing drama. Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles can be long-term committed relationships, marriage, can be family as well in the family. And we have temperance again. Again, slowly but surely bringing things back into the balance. And I feel that you're finding the illumination in truth that you need on how to move forward, what you want, what you don't want. What you want to manifest and what you don't want to manifest here, Libra. So it might well be for some of you that you're laying the law down, saying how things are going to move forward. For some of you, maybe making some kind of poignant decision. But I feel whatever that decision will be, it will bring a happy resolution, positive resolution to your life. So it feels very beautiful. Okay, final message for Libra. We have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. That is what I have for you, Libra. It's a really beautiful energy towards the end. I feel spirit is going to help bring some positive illumination your way that really allows you to 
put a difficult situation behind you and step into the light. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.